This is KD Zero RVY, and we're doing the uh, second video here for the J pole antenna. Uh, today we're going to be doing a uh, what's called a copper cactus, and uh, it's using three quarter inch copper uh, plumbing and. Uh, with uh, some calculations and some materials, we are going to go ahead and make an antenna out of it. And uh, to do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, the materials that you're going to need to complete this project. As you can see here, this is the three quarter inch plumbing that I am using. And I've made all my measurements and my cuts, uh, so that way you guys don't have to uh, see me do all the cutting. Uh, I'm not emo, but uh, anyways, uh, these are the parts you're going to need, uh, in addition to the measurements of the pipe that you need, uh, which I'll go through here shortly. Uh, you will also need uh, three um, of the appropriate size uh, end caps, and then you will also need, or uh, you may want, uh, one of these brushes here. Uh, this is pretty handy. Uh, what it's for is uh, as you can see there's brush on the end plus uh, bristles uh, on the inside here um, is to run through uh, the inside of your pipe and then this is to clean up the outside of your pipe now you might be able to notice in the light here I have done my ends I didn't need to the pipe is pretty clean since it's brand new pipe uh, but I decided to do it anyway so you could see it um, the other reason I did this was because uh, when you cut the pipe you can end up uh, even with the pipe cutter which we'll get to uh, you can still end up with burrs on the inside and so to avoid any potential injury I still ran uh, the brush on the inside and on the outside to get rid of some of those so now to the pipe cutter uh, you'll want one of those definitely makes uh, cutting this a lot easier than with like a hacksaw or something Make sure you got a tape measure, make your measurements, uh, blow a torch, and you're going to want a way to uh, start it, whether it be by a sparker or uh, lighter or matches. Uh, we also got some solder and some flux. So if uh, any of you who are watching this are familiar with doing plumbing, uh, I am not, so um, I do have somebody in the family who is and uh, kind of went through this really quick with him and uh, kind of had me make sure that I was doing it right so um, you also need now I'm seeing it the uh, RG58 cable so now what I've done is I've already pre-stripped these uh, if you've seen the video of me doing the uh, ladder line J-pole uh, That'll show you uh, my little tricks on how to how to strip this stuff. I also added um, these connectors on each end on the uh, center conductor and on the shield. In addition, I also brushed on uh, some liquid electrical tape, and I've been using it on a few things, and this stuff is slick. I like it a lot. So. Um, I've got my, my cable ready, so now uh, I'm going to go through and uh, I'll show you some soldering. I'll try to do uh, one of these connections here, and uh, then I'll do the rest off camera uh, so you don't have to watch all that. Um, but the measurements, uh, let me show you that briefly. Here are uh, the plans I got. I did find these online, and I give props to... Uh, I believe it's, uh, well, the full name is Buck 4 ABT, um, but the call letter is just Kilo 4 Alpha Bravo Tango. So, props to him. And so, here are the plans and the math. Now, you can see they kind of give you the formula, uh, but you have to figure out. Uh, the math itself. Now, even if you're not good at math, this is, uh, this is pretty basic, uh, especially if you got a calculator, um, it'll be helpful. So, to show you an example, 
um, this A length here is 705 divided by the frequency in megahertz um, and that's going to give you an output of how many feet so now I'm using this antenna for 2 meter so I'm going to use uh, 146 megahertz so what I would do is uh, do 705 as you can see on that first line there 705 uh, divided by 146, 146 megahertz and uh, then I do that times 12 because this is in feet so if you want it to be in inches uh, you have to do it times 12 so uh, 705 divided by 146 and uh, you know whatever you get for that answer take that times 12 what you're gonna get is uh, if you do this exact math you're gonna get 57.9 now the plus 20 uh, comes in over here uh, where you just add 20 inches to whatever this is now one thing to keep in mind here if you look at this arrow this measurement is actually going from the very top all the way down to what's going to be the very top of the T not the center of the T not the bottom of the T the very top so that's 57.9 inches it's going to go from this line here the very top all the way up there to the top of the, the pipe so um, there were some minor adjustments that I had to make in my measurements, very minor. Um, I'll kind of show you that now before I, I do the soldering. Uh, what that was, was uh, this T right here. So if you see in there, what's going to happen is when I put, when I put this onto the pipe, the pipe is only going to come down to right about where this corner is and then same thing with this if I put this into this end it's only going to come down to right about where this corner is right here which means I've got a gap there so um, what you end up having to do with this bottom part here is making a little bit shorter to account for uh, that gap because otherwise you know you'll have a little bit more than what you need but then again this end of the pole is uh, just to be attached to uh, stainless steel uh, pole or PVC or whatever it is you want to use here um, so that's all that is so that may not be a big deal leave that longer but I did make the uh, adjustment anyways uh, to meet the 20 inches so um, I'm going to go ahead and we will uh, get working here and I'll show you how to solder this. What we need to do first is get some of this uh, flux on here. You should have a brush of some kind to do this. I just found a piece of fabric laying around so I'm going to use this. And just make sure put a pretty nice amount on here and this is the section that's going to get the T I'm going to go ahead and also put a little bit on the inside there the excess don't have to but definitely can then I'm gonna go ahead get this thing going and you might want to get your solder ready uh, one thing that's not a bad idea to do this little trick I was showing was to put a hook on the end of it
do is get this heated up here. I'm going to kind of readjust. Get right underneath it. Sorry, it should just run. Yeah, we might be good. Grab this claw so I don't burn myself. Take a look. Give up a little bit of a blob. Once you got around there, you can use it like this. Put on a little bit more flux. Okay, it should be good on that one. To a house or anything so now we will go ahead and do our uh, 20 inch uh, the bottom part that's going to be attached to the pole and we'll do that And since that's hot, I'm not going to put anything in there. Just feed that in. soldered in now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video and I'm going to get the, the rest of this done and I will uh, show you what it looks like when we got it all together. Well welcome back. Here is uh, the antenna all done. I brought it over to this side of my garage so that uh, you can see what it looks like um, in the light here. Uh, so what I did 
is I got all my soldering done and uh, you can see here that I have uh, coiled the RG58 cable there uh, five times uh, around within a, uh, a five inch uh, diameter so and that's supposed to help with uh, the matching and then uh, I also added uh, these are the, the style connectors uh, that I got so what I did here is I ran my cable up and uh, as you saw earlier I already had it split off and everything and uh, put one end under that screw there and then the uh, conductor side uh, goes over here on the long side and uh, so that's there and the shields on that side there um, I got four zip ties holding uh, the cable in place there uh, so it stays that way in addition to uh, a zip tie here and a zip tie there to hold it up to the antenna those are uh, brass connectors with stainless steel screws um, so uh, since this is something that's going to be going outside you want to make sure uh, you know that you're using stainless or uh, you know I'd say something that's not going to corrode but uh, the whole antenna is made of copper so um, you know as long as you can get a good connection and uh, it's something that will uh, conduct current uh, you should be good so that's uh, what that looks like there and then if we just move up here and you can see my messy garage um, so there's our our long uh, pole there and there's the the tip there so I got end caps on uh, every opening end uh, so of course end cap there and if we go down here I also have end cap there and I even uh, put one right on the very bottom one too so you can see I also still have a little length of cable left um, one of the things I kind of overlooked is I need to uh, get a connector um, like an SO uh, 239 or uh, BNC or something like that get a connector uh, to the other end of this cable and then it will officially be done so uh, anyways uh, this is what it looks like uh, completed I uh, hope you all uh, enjoyed this uh, little tutorial um, hopefully uh, this will inspire you to also uh, make your own uh, copper J-pole 2 meter antenna you can also do 6 meter but keep in mind that the higher you go up in the bands the larger the antenna is going to be so already as, the, already as it is uh, this is a 2 meter I stand 6 foot tall and uh, it's taller than me I would say probably about uh, well you figure from end to end uh, I think when we figured out in the math it was 77.9 inches so it's uh, you know you start going 6 meter you're gonna have a pretty huge antenna so anyways uh, and I uh, would also like to thank everybody who has subscribed uh, to my channel if you haven't uh, please do as uh, additional support and um, it will also help uh, just as moral support too uh, to keep these videos coming um, you know once I see that the interest is there uh, it makes me want to keep on doing the videos for you guys so this is uh, Kitty Zero RVY